Why do they always show cowboys and Indians late at night? I don't know. I wonder if it's offensive to say cowboys and Indians now. Yeah, you better be careful. You wouldn't want to offend a cowboy. <sighs> Let me tell you, goofball. This is not how I imagined adult life. Well, what do you mean? Well, uh, apart from spending most of it plagued with terrifying anxiety, soul-crushing depression, crippling loneliness, and terrible debilitating neck pain, it's also just incredibly boring. I mean, here we are, a couple of young people, it's Saturday night, and we're just lying on the couch watching TV in the dark. We're young people? Well, we're kinda young, and we're kinda people. I don't get it. You came in here, you turned the movie on, you turned the lights off, you sat down and you started watching it, and now you're complaining about it? Because I wish I was doing something else. Like what? Oh, you know the kind of things that young people do, goofball. They go to concerts, or they go on road trips, or to music festivals, or go camping, or play guitar as they sit around a bonfire on the beach at night, making memories, falling in love. But I never got to do any of that stuff. You only get to be young once, and I blew it. You know, I've been to music festivals, and let me tell you, Coachella is not great. 125,000 people all using the same 10 porta potties, the music sucks. Although the mud orgies are usually pretty fun. You're missing the point, goofball. It doesn't have to be that specifically. Well, then what are you talking about? I'm talking about fun, goofball. Surely you've heard of fun. Well, I never get to have fun. You can't tell me there aren't people out there having fun. I know they do it. I've seen it on Instagram. I want to be one of those people. One of the fun havers. Well, what's fun to you? Ugh, basically nothing at this point. Well, I don't know what you want then, and it sounds like you don't know either. I want new adventures, new experiences. It could be anything, frankly. Bitch, is that all? If you want new experiences, I can get you new experiences. I'm not having sex with you, goofball. Wait here a second. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Have you ever done 10 Venezuelan ghost shrooms at once? I've never done any Venezuelan ghost shrooms at once. Well, then I would say that this is gonna be one hell of a new experience. My cousin Julio said at most you should take two. So I figure if we take 10, then shit's gonna get really weird. Goofball, are you crazy? You can't give somebody a hallucinogenic drug without their permission. Why not? Well, for starters, it's incredibly illegal. It is? Yes! Oh no, what are you gonna do? Call the cops and say, come arrest my cartoon ghost? Goofball, why would you do this to me? I didn't do it to you, I did it for you. You're welcome. And you know, those were expensive. I was saving them for a special occasion. So I guess we gotta make this the special occasion. Well, I have to go to the emergency room right now. I have to get my stomach pumped. Okay, calm down, Princess Nancy. You're not doing that. And it wouldn't even work. They're ghost shrooms. They don't go into your stomach. They absorb into your soul. What? Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna sit your ass down, and as absurd as it sounds, you are going to allow yourself to enjoy something. And for once in your life, stop being so neurotic. Allow myself to enjoy something? Relax. It's gonna be okay. Just allow yourself to enjoy something. Allow myself to enjoy something. Allow myself to enjoy something. Whoa. It's like the pattern on the rug is moving. It's like the pattern on the rug is moving. It's like the Pattern on the rug. The pattern on the rug. Moving. It's moving. It's like the pattern on the rug. It's not just in my imagination. The pattern on the rug is moving. 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 You just made a scary face at me! No, I didn't! Uh, well, it looked like you did. Are you sure you weren't just looking in a mirror? <laughs>
Lighten up, creep. It's a party. All right. Well, I guess this isn't too bad. <laughs> hey, at least we didn't have one of those drug trips where we got sent to another dimension. <laughs> <laughs> Goofball, what did you do? Oh, I didn't do anything! Ah! Well, where are we? What's going on? Um, I think this is the astral plane of ascension. Well, how long are we gonna be here? Well, it's the astral plane of ascension, so... I don't know, eternity? Oh, is that all? And to think I was worried. Well, look on the bright side, creep. At least you get to spend eternity with your best buddy, Goofball. Yeah, that sounds like my luck, all right. <laughs> Let me tell you, Goofball, you just keep finding new ways to take me out of my comfort zone, don't you? Well, I don't see how any of this is my fault. You don't see how this is your fault? Are you insane? Are you just completely delusional? Do you have a single iota of logic or reason in your dumb, empty head? <laughs> you know, Creep, I have a feeling that you and I are destined to do this forever. No, no, no. Don't say you and I are destined to do this forever, goofball. Don't say it. Well, what choice do we have now? We're in the damn astral plane of ascension. Well, that doesn't mean I have to talk to you. In fact, I'll stay here. Here, you can go over there. Oh man! And I don't want to hear another peep out of you for the rest of eternity! I'm already lonely. Ugh. I miss my big warm squishy creep. I'm not engaging in this conversation! Who dares to trespass in the realm of the Clockwork Elves? We are the Clockwork Elves, and you are unlawfully encroaching into our domain! The Clockwork Elves? Yes, we toil endlessly behind the scenes of physical existence, forever tending to the intricately balanced inner mechanisms of the multiverse to keep the fabric of reality from falling apart. Uh, you're welcome. I believe the words you're looking for are Thank you. Oh, you must be the guys Joe Rogan's always talking about. Is it true you gave him the finger? Yes, we flipped him the bird. I guess you could say that fear was not a factor for us. <laughs> well, you're supposed to tell us the ultimate cosmic truth, right? Hey, yeah, that's right. You tell us the ultimate cosmic truth, and then when we wake up, we can't remember it for some reason, which makes the story really frustrating to hear for anybody that we tell it to. You know, we are sick of you Earthlings just waltzing in and demanding the ultimate cosmic truth. As if we aren't always busy. You know, what with keeping the fabric of reality from falling apart and all. But you guys do know everything, right? Of course. We are the Clockwork Elves. Alright, what can I ask? Um... Did Bill Cosby really do all that stuff? Yeah. Yeah, he did. Oh. Man... I can't believe you were still holding out hope for Cosby. What kind of a sucker are you? Well, if Michael Jackson fans can still be in denial about Michael Jackson, then how come I can't be in denial about Bill Cosby? He was my favorite comedian, Goofball. Well, your favorite comedian is a serial rapist, you gullible nimrod. You know, Goofball, you really are something. Even when we're in the astral plane of ascension and we're about to get the ultimate cosmic truth from the damn clockwork elves, you still have to find ways to insult me. Oh, God, it's getting worse. Ugh, this place sucks. Well, if you hate it so much, then why don't you leave? Not until I get the ultimate cosmic truth. Well, I fail to see how it's any of your business. Listen, you nerd. Give me the damn ultimate cosmic truth or else I'm going to kick your ass. Oh, all right. Come here and I'll whisper it to you. <gasps> of course. It all makes sense now. makes sense. I don't remember. Well, that was one heck of a short eternity. Not short enough, if you ask me. Especially since I don't recall asking for my Saturday night to be hijacked by hallucinogens. I can't believe you're still belly aching. You said you wanted to have a new experience, and you just met the damn clockwork elves. Experiences don't get much newer than that. <sighs> I suppose that was a pretty unique adventure, goofball, and I have you to thank for it.
I guess living with a cartoon ghost can have its advantages. Yeah! And hey, guess what? What? <laughs> I knew that was you! I knew that you did that! <laughs> oh, fuck you, I'm going to bed. <laughs> Today's auto-generated insult is brought to you by the fine folks at Audible. Audible is the world's leading audiobook service and a great way to drown out some loudmouth jerk who won't shut up. Start listening with a 30-day Audible trial today and get one audiobook and unlimited downloads absolutely free. Just go to audible.com slash goofball or text goofball to 500-500. If you enjoyed today's episode, might I suggest listening to DMT Alien Encounters in Hyperspace, written by Samson Fabricant and as narrated by Jason R. Gray. Or if that sounds like a bunch of hippy dippy gobbledygook mumbo jumbo, might I suggest Horton Hears a Who as narrated by the Rain Man himself, Dustin Hoffman. You can't make this stuff up. So if you want to get in on that, once again, go to audible.com slash goofball or text goofball to 500 500. Trust me, you're not going to regret it. Get snarfed, you lard barfed, our farfanarf. Psst, Burnbot, run a search on Clockwork Elf Rule 34. Damn, this girl looking thick. Are you looking at Clockwork Elf porn? Uh, no, no, don't be ridiculous. How do I turn this microphone the fuck off?